All right, let's give this another shot. What is up? Welcome to your daily dose of awesome. Your life, 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Uh, today, I wanted to reflect a little bit on uh, this past weekend here at our Fast Track to Freedom uh, workshop. Uh, it's been a pretty awesome weekend spending time with, spending time with uh, some amazing individuals, both uh, up-and-coming superstars and also top earners in the network marketing and online marketing space. So it was pretty exciting to, to, to have all these folks. Yesterday we had our, our, our fun day, so our Elevation Fun Day. So those of us who commit to a full year of mentorship, not only do they commit to mentorship and help for a full year from us, they actually get to uh, spend quite a few fun days with us uh, when, we, when we invite them on certain vacations or certain fun things we do. Yesterday we basically went all over Chicago, had a blast uh, doing a little sightseeing, eating at some restaurants that are... Uh, very well known, and and uh, you know, we yesterday we ate at the Signature Room, which is a very luxurious restaurant in uh, in Chicago, and then uh, also Giordano's, which we did our Facebook Live from with Tyson and uh, Tim Arway. So, pretty fun. Uh, so let me guys, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Uh, we've I've been having a little bit of a technical difficulty with regards to starting. Uh, so let me know if my sound is is uh, coming through loud and clear. Uh, so, so yeah, I, and actually I just had started a Facebook live and it had literally just crashed on me, uh, five seconds after starting. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, but I just want to make sure that everything is good. Cause what I want to share with you guys are, is on some reflections as it relates to beliefs, uh, dogma and, and basically being open to a new way of doing things. Now, some interesting things have happened. Uh, uh, you know, yesterday I received, uh, a message from supposedly a, a top earner in a, in a very big network marketing uh, company, and uh, and so yeah, sorry if I'm coming a little pixel, pixelated, guys. I'm, I'm using the Wi-Fi from my hotel room, which is as good as it's going to get, and the reception here is not great either for some reason. So uh, so just bear with me. So so I was uh, I got a message from uh, and I've been messaging with a, this top earner for a little bit, um, and basically the bottom line is this top earner from from the periphery does not understand what we do and and is is constantly looking at what we do from 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 the lens that she's built her business through and what that's going to result in is obviously not agreeing or, or or getting upset or not not just being supportive at all of 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 what we do because it doesn't fit into her paradigm and um, the interesting thing is we always try to evaluate things from afar we always try to fill the gaps of, of our lack of knowledge about certain things uh, and, and try, to, try to base it on the little bit of knowledge we have and then fill the gaps with what we think it might be. And of course, what that leads, to, leads us to concluding are, are uh, you, you make assumptions that are false, you draw conclusions that are not accurate, and ultimately that leads to disagreement and fallout. And what's happening in the network marketing space right now with uh, you know the the resurgence of Elite Marketing Pro, is that uh, top earners are are getting worried, especially those who built their business a long time ago. The cool thing is there's a lot of top earners we're aligned with who have built their business recently through social media, the internet, various forms. Uh, not not even the people that build online build it all the same. It's all a little bit different. And the cool thing is I'm in a uh, you know we're in agreement and alliance and collaboration with new new school network marketers, if you will, if you want to put that in that that. Uh, uh, you know, use those semantics in order to describe it. Uh, but the bottom line is that there's a lot of uh, top earners who had previously built mo the majority of their business uh, before the social media era and even before the internet era that are just totally taking what we are doing as far as building online out of context. And the reason they do that is because they just lack knowledge. They lack knowledge about what exactly we do. And... Um, you know, the, the, the best advice I have for anybody who is either uh, speaking to somebody who's not understanding what we do, or if you yourself are, are one of these uh, top producers who, uh, you know, is already casting judgment on, on, on how attraction marketing works, how social media recruiting works and all that, uh, is, you know, invest in learning. You know, you buy a book to learn more about John Maxwell's leadership secrets. You buy a book. Uh, to hand out to your friends that that will hopefully explain uh, your your business a little better. You buy books for a lot of reasons, but you're not willing to invest twenty seven dollars in a in a book that I wrote 
uh, that actually explains in detail as to how it is attraction marketing works. And if you're, if you're watching people in your organization uh, checking out Attraction Marketing Formula or Social Media Recruiter, doesn't it make sense for you to want to read and, and, and buy what it is they're actually, you know, they themselves are buying? I mean, that totally makes sense. If I knew somebody uh, with an EMP was learning a new way of doing things, even if it is totally foreign to me and I didn't completely understand it, I would want to buy whatever it is that they were studying in order for me to understand what what they were doing I, and here's what i i wouldn't do i wouldn't necessarily go to that person uh and and base my judgment solely on what they have to tell me now i would go to that person and say hey what are you doing how's this working and then okay they explain i was like okay cool uh and then I, what i would do next is is go actually invest in what it is uh, they've actually conveyed to me uh, is a source of that knowledge. The reason why is because new people, people that don't yet have a mastery over a certain uh, skill set, can't adequately, will never be able to adequately answer all your questions, uh, especially if you're coming from a place of skepticism and, and, and distrust and you have doubt as to whether what, what it is you're actually um, asking about is legit. Just like, uh, you know, if somebody asked me how, if, if I wanted to know how, how somebody becomes a top producer using uh, think methods like home parties, home meetings, etc. I wouldn't go to the newest person in that organization that just got trained that month. I would want to have a conversation with the top earner to try to understand their system for building uh, using home parties, using home meetings, using uh, cold market prospecting. And I have, you know, I've, I've studied under the, some of the best old schoolers in the world. And even though I don't actively do that stuff anymore, I understand why it works, and I understand. Uh, its strengths and its weaknesses. Its strengths have to do with, um, you know, basically the, the personal, you know, relationship that you have with somebody because you get to see them and 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 hold, you know share the same space with them in person. The 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 con is that it's inefficient. So you lack the efficiency that technology can provide you, and vice versa. Technology provides you an opportunity to connect with a lot more people a lot faster. However, the the con obviously is that you don't get as an intimate. Uh, a, a type of uh, situation as, as that's ideal. However, it's actually still good enough. I'd rather have good enough than have nothing at all or, or lack the efficiency in my business so that I can grow. And in fact, the more contact you have with people through social media, through Facebook groups, through private messaging, um, and, 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 and conversations over video chat, you can actually eventually get up to the intimacy and the, and the, the trust that you can produce offline anyway. It just takes a little bit more work. But the point is, here is don't, you know, my, my advice to people that, are, that have uh, a mistrust of what we're doing online is one, actually read the trainings that supposedly your downline or your team members are finding on the internet. Read it so you come from a source of knowledge and understanding and not ignorance and judgment. And two, understand that, that there's possibly more than one way of building a network marketing or any business for that matter than the way you've built it. Uh, and, and that's actually a more important point. There's multiple, in, in business, there's multiple paths to truth. And, and when we try to make somebody wrong about how they're building their business, what we're, what we're doing is we're attacking their, their identity because they, they've, they've chosen to identify with that way of building. They've chosen to identify with that way uh, of, of, you know, of that way of, of, of building their business and chosen to disassociate themselves from other ways which doesn't fit their personality, doesn't fit their beliefs, or doesn't fit whatever. And so, so you're, you're, you're attacking who they are. If they're choosing to want to build on the internet because they, they find that something more palatable than, than approaching a stranger at the mall, when you say, no, don't do that, that's the wrong way of doing it, you're, you're, you're telling them more than, you're talking to them more about than just a strategy. You're talking to them about something that they've resonated with and identified with, and now you're saying don't do that. Uh, you're not going to win that, that, that uh, argument there. It, very likely what you're going to do is you're going to scare that person away. Um, you know, and if, even if you think that whatever that person is doing is absolutely wrong, uh, even how you approach that conversation uh, can be different. Asking questions and choosing to try to understand before you try to, uh, you know, tackle somebody, like Ray Higdon says, uh, will will go a long way towards retaining that person. Know this, and and Ray Ray Higdon has talked about that. My my buddy, uh, he says that if you try to tackle somebody 
if you try to put somebody down that's building in a way that you're not in agreement with, what you're going to do is drive them out of the business and anyone that they have influence over, you're going to drive them out of, out of the business as well. That is not leadership. That's petty pettiness, in my opinion, you know, petty BS. And in fact, I think more, more, more than that, it's insecurity. Um, you know, because you're, you'd rather, you know, hammer that nail that's sticking out as quickly as possible because you don't want anyone to see that nail uh, and have it get out of control. Well, you should first choose to do is, to, one, try to understand what's happening over there. And two, if you do have a, a disagreement with it, then what you should actually do is provide solutions that that way of, of building is, is addressing right now. So one of the big, so, the big solutions that Attraction Marketing offers is that you can build your business from home. You can actually uh, function from home. You can run ads uh, to generate leads using Facebook that are coming to you and you're attracting them. Wouldn't it make sense for you to develop something within your organization that helps solve, that helps address that issue where people are, you're attracting people versus chasing people or approaching people? You know, all the things that, that new people, especially most network marketers, don't want to do, even though that's part of the game, getting to know people, have more contacts. What if you can provide them a different way that, that addressed their issue as opposed to trying to force them to do something they really don't want to do. And so, so that's for me, that, that's been the approach. The reason why I came online, you know, meant over 10 years ago, before we had a lot of the cool tools we have now, before Facebook was as mature as it is now, when I came online, we had no tools, we had no uh, system, there was no EMP, there was no coaching program. Uh, and, you know, and when I came online, we had to build our own websites. There was no Word, WordPress at the time, or at least we weren't using it as much. We had to build everything in HTML. So think of it, me building a, a funnel, building a website from scratch, coding all the, all the stuff that needed to be coded in order to create an opt-in box and, and setting up a funnel with a thank you page and then creating a product and, you know, and, and, fun, and you know, creating this, this technology, that was more palatable for me than cold market recruiting strangers out in public. That, was, that seemed to me like something that would be more duplicatable than that. So that was my perspective. Why? Because I'm less afraid of technology than I am of people you know, you know, getting mad at me because I screwed up in a conversation. Now, of course, there's training and mindset issues re revolving around that about fear of people and overcoming that and overcoming the, uh, your fears in the prospecting process. But if you're asking somebody to do that, then you already are, are, are fighting an uphill battle. And of course, I, I no longer have fear of, of doing things. I prospect people all the time for, for the solutions I offer. Um, and, and, but I get out of coming from a place of, of serving them, not because I want something out of them. And, uh, but that's something that, that takes time to develop. So if you can show somebody a way where you can actually attract people as opposed to push them away that, uh, uh, you know, or repel them, then I'd say that's something worth learning. And, and it doesn't it invalidate everything you're, you've currently taught your team. Uh, all you're doing, essentially what we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro is a way to attract people using a technology called a Facebook ads platform and uh, attract them every single day. And I'll give you some examples right now that are, some of our members are, are, are utilizing right now in order to attract people, uh, both recruit people in the network marketing business and also those people who are already involved in an opportunity referring them to our training. Uh, they're using uh, engagement ads on Facebook. So using engagement ads where, uh, you know, it, an engagement ad could be as simple as posting a picture with some text and, and saying, hey, show Facebook sh for $5. I'm willing to pay you $5 to show this uh, picture and text to this targeted audience over here. That uh, targeted audience could be Robert Kiyosaki's audience or John Maxwell's audience or or whoever's audience, like literally Facebook allows you to target any audience, any interest on the web that you can imagine. And so, so it allows you to show your message in front of a, a very targeted group. And so an engagement ad, what you're asking people to do is respond to that post. And if that post is compelling, if that post is talking about uh, results that you've helped people produce in their lives, then very likely the audience that you've targeted is gonna respond and go, hey, I want to learn more about what you've helped people accomplish here. And then they go, you know, they comment, I'd like some more info. And of course, you begin a private messaging conversation and go from there. Some of our, our members inside Elite Marketing Pro are doing this every single day, making sales of product and recruiting people because they're basically putting a post out there, promoting it to different audiences and, and, and 
uh, basically becoming the catalyst for a conversation they have. I, we have members inside Elite Marketing Pro right now where their biggest problem is they have too many people to talk to. That's their biggest problem. They don't have enough time to talk to, so now they're trying to figure out the rest of the attraction marketing puzzle, which is automating the conversion process, which is what we also teach as you move on. But the first part we teach is how to attract people. And once you have the, the problem of attracting too many people, you know, and you have, don't have time to process all of them, then we teach you how to, how to automate that process or create more leverage around that conversion process. Another type of ad that you can do, which any networker should be going crazy over right now, and I'll end with this, is a messenger ad. Right now, Facebook allows you to create ads that, uh, where the call to action is actually to send you a private message. So if somebody is interested in what you have, you put out an ad uh, with the proper messaging and there's rules and guidelines around this. You want to do this right, otherwise Facebook will shut down your ads account. Um, which is, but don't worry, we teach that in EMP. Um, so you put out an ad with Messenger and, uh, and, and basically it's the same thing, could have an image, uh, has some sort of uh, message on it. And if people are, resonate or are interested of learning more about what you have, they actually click on the ad and it opens up the messenger app on their phone and then an automated message comes from you saying hello Rudy or whatever their name is hello Rudy uh, thanks for your interest in reaching out uh, and then you could actually begin a conversation so you can either begin a live conversation or you can actually uh, set up a kind of like a, a survey type conversation using some apps where where you can ask them some basic questions on, on autopilot ask them some basic questions yes or no answers or have them choose what am I what are you most interested in are you interested in making money becoming healthier or whatever the question is and they choose one of the answers and that way, you basically kind of sort them and you can provide them in an automated fashion uh, information that's relevant to them. Or you can choose to, if you don't have too many requests coming in, you can choose to you know, basically sit by your phone and wait for those conversations to happen and choose to engage live with that person, transfer that conversation into a video chat if it goes well. And, and so think about that. Think about the power of that. Forget funnels. Forget building websites, just that alone and just the fact that you can learn that inside of ENP is a no-brainer for any network marketer. And I'm suspecting that's a no-brainer for even old school network marketers who want to provide people a way of attracting uh, more and more people to their business or, or helping their downline, their team members attract more people to their business. So that's what we're focused on. We're focused on not on trying to uh, you know, tear down the, what's proven in network marketing, we're focused on, on tearing down what's inefficient. And so if I believe something's inefficient and there's a better way of somebody doing something, then I'm going to introduce them to that to them. If they don't want to do it that way, then uh, that, that's cool too. And uh, you know, more power to them if they want to do it using a, a different method. But at least I have the option of showing them more. So if you want to learn more about Elite Marketing Pro, I highly recommend that you... Uh, highly, Sorry, <laughs> people are coming into my room. Uh, and so I highly recommend you, you uh, click on the link in the description if someone shared this with you. You guys are in EMP, you should be sharing this right now uh, on your fan page. I intentionally don't put any links uh, on, on these uh, posts for a reason so you guys can share it. Uh, but if you uh, don't have a link in the description, you can't click there. And simply go to Elite Marketing Pro and, uh, and, and uh, you know, halfway through the page is a little box that talks about an online recruiting boot camp. And that's going to start, uh, start you on the journey of learning more about what we do here at an EMP. Learn about the fundamentals that I got started learning 10 years ago about building online. And then we can get you into some of the really fun stuff like engagement ads and messenger ads and all that stuff as you progress into our community and our membership. So don't expect to learn everything at once. We have a method to our madness and, our, and the method has to do with making sure that you're able to consume the content at the pace that you can handle. And after you go through the online, uh, when you get the online recruiting bootcamp, I highly recommend you take, take us up on a special offer to get my book, The Attraction Marketing Formula. Um, it's, a, it's an easy read. You'll be able to download it. So it's, it's, a, it's electronic download, so you don't have to wait for a book to be delivered recommend you go through that. And uh, we, offer, we also offer some free coaching uh, as well, three coaching calls to help you wrap your head around all of this with the purchase of that book, completely free, no obligation for anything. So go check that out. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope this was helpful around uh, anyone that's watching this that has issues with what we're doing and, and has drawn certain assumptions or already drawn certain conclusions about 
uh, what we do in terms of building online. We're not trying to hurt anybody. Uh, and, I, and I think if you, if you truly believe that, then you really just are coming from a place of ignorance, all due respect, and that uh, maybe you should be reading the things that other people are catching on to. Uh, and that includes what we have here at Elite Marketing Pro. So uh, thanks a lot for being on. And thanks a lot, guys. And thanks for all your support. Thank you, Brandy, for all the hugs and, or the, all the likes and hearts. And what's up, Tim? How's it going, buddy? Uh, and Julie, thank you for, for being on. So that's it, guys. I'm going to head home tonight. And I will, uh, we'll see you guys uh, later this week uh, for more Daily Dose of Awesomes. Take care, everybody.